Hey guys, today's reading brought to you by Spirit. We're asking for love, protection, and guidance during this time. We're asking for highest and best good information so that we are able to utilize this information during our everyday life and so forth. So we thank you very much for being with us here at this time. And let's get into the reading. So let's shuffle the cards. What's today's energy going to bring us? Hope everyone's doing fine and well today. Whoa. The Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is someone, usually like a friend, could be a sibling, that brings in some intuitive information or intuitive inspiration is what Spirit's wanting me to say as well. Everyone's going to be different, so they bring in a little spark. So let's see what the spark is regarding. So we'll put this right here. <clears> the <throat> spark is regarding another person. Or this can be your type of energy. So by their spark, they're bringing it, they're making you have a an intuitive hit that brings in some energy towards what you're doing. So the Knight of Swords is a type of fast moving energy that makes you just want to go full force into it. Sometimes this can be an energy of not fully thinking things through all the way, but that's because you know in your head what you want to do and how you want to achieve it, and you know you need to get it done now. But you haven't necessarily looked at everything that needs to happen beforehand. So that's what spirit is letting me know and then let's see these two cards came out the six of or i'm sorry let's see one two, the five oh no six of cups and the eight of swords now this is showing the energy that is going to hold you back from moving forward so as much as you have you know what's interesting there's a third card this happens all the time when I read for you guys. There's always a shuffle and three cards come out. It's always in threes. This is interesting. Okay, let's see. This is how Spirit wants me to read them. So this is the Eight of Coins, right? Six of Cups, uh, Eight of Swords. This is what you want to achieve. You want to start growing and planting seeds, right? You have... You have so much energy to get this thing off the ground, whatever this is. They're making me feel like a new job opportunity or a new entrepreneurship going in that direction. Something fresh, something new that you're planting seeds for, that you're wanting to watch grow. Maybe even something is starting to grow in this moment. But what's going to hold you back is this old energy or these old memories of things that did not come to pass. Just know that being able to see this now, it's time to leave it where it lies. So know that this energy is letting you know that yes, you can do this. Yes, you have the, the willpower to do it. That is clear. That is clear with this Knight of Swords. So let's keep going here. See what else Spirit wants us to know. And mind you, like this is a timeless reading. I say there's dailies, but depending on when you see this and uh, when you come across this reading is when it's meant for you. So this will look different for everyone. The temperance has come in. And when, with temperance coming in, this is letting you know that everything is where is going in the order that it should be going in. And to remind you to find balance within this energy. Yes, you have a lot of drive. Yes, you have a lot of passion. And then these old ego like hangups come in and this is where you need to stop and ground your energy, find your center and get back to business, get back to this energy of pushing forward, getting things done, planting your seeds and watching them grow, right? Do you see that? This is a really great reading. Uh, I know this is for the daily, but this definitely gives off a week and even longer, maybe even two weeks. This is something that's brewing, that's been brewing. 
Um, and what's standing in your way is old, old memories that don't serve your energy anymore where you, where you are now. You're a different person now. You're a different person than you were last week, you know, a month, two months, a year ago. You're a totally different person from then. So just know that you can say in this here and now that I will not take these old memories, these old thoughts. Maybe these are things that people told you that you're not going to take them into the future and you're not taking them with you during this new adventure because you need to cancel those things out to allow the new in. And I have every faith in you, all the faith in you that you can do this. Maybe even write it down, journal, maybe even write a, a voice memo or that's what they're telling me, write a voice memo and like listen to it and then delete it. Like know that you're letting it go like that. Or you can write it down and burn it in, in a safe space or flush it down the toilet. Something like that, something almost like a ritual aspect to it so that you're able to let it go. And with that being said, have a wonderful day, you guys. If you have any questions, want a reading, you can always comment or send me a DM and leave me in the comments how this reflects for you because everyone's going to be different. I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you guys.